Hi, YouTube. I came across a fascinating page here of information. I've, I've come across these before, but I've never come across so much in one place. I thought I'd share. There are a couple little glitches, and I'll, I'll go into those at the end. And of course, you can research this information for yourself. Oh my God, this is fascinating. Um, okay, the page says, have a history teacher explain this if they can. Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846. John F. Kennedy was elected to Congress in 1946. Abraham Lincoln was elected president in 1860. John F. Kennedy was elected president in 1960. Both were particularly concerned with civil rights. Both wives lost their children while living in the White House. Both presidents were shot on a Friday. Both presidents were shot in the head. Now it gets really weird. Lincoln's secretary was named Kennedy. Kennedy's secretary was named Lincoln. Both were assassinated by Southerners. Both were succeeded by Southerners named Johnson. Andrew Johnson, who succeeded Lincoln, was born in 1808. Lyndon Johnson, who succeeded Kennedy, was born in 1908. John Wilkes Booth, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1839. Lee Harvey Oswald, who assassinated Lincoln, was born in 1939. Both assassins were known by their three names. Both assassins are composed of 15 letters. Now hang on to your seat. All right. Lincoln was shot at the theater named Ford. Kennedy was shot in a car called Lincoln, made by Ford. Lincoln was shot in a theater, and his assassin ran and hid in a warehouse. Kennedy was shot from a warehouse, and his assassin ran and hid in a theater. <laughs> Both Booth and Oswald were assassinated before their trials. And here's the kicker. A week before Lincoln was shot, he was in Monroe, Maryland. A week before Kennedy was shot, he was with Marilyn Monroe. I'll go into that in a moment. Creepy, huh? <laughs> Send this to as many people as they can. Blah, blah, blah. Now, this is where it gets really freaky. You're going to have to go to the link to see this for yourself. I really recommend doing this. Fold a $20 bill in half. Fold again, taking care to fold it exactly as it shows here in the picture. Hold the other and exactly as before, sorry, fold. Fold the other end exactly as before. Now simply turn it over. What a coincidence. A simple geometric fold creates a catastrophic premonition printed on all $20 bills. Yes, it clearly depicts two towers on fire. And I kid you not, it's the same symbol you'll see on the tarot card. I forget which one. Catastrophe or something. One of the tarot cards has the same exact symbol. It's the same symbol you get here if you fold that bill as it shows you on this page. And it, of course, uh, uh, looks a lot like uh, the Twin Towers on 9-11. Um, okay, I have a little bit to add to the facts I just read. Okay. The names uh, Lincoln and Kennedy each contain seven letters. Like both their assassins both contain you know, 15 letters together. Lincoln lost children before the White House. So they didn't lose all their children you know, while in the White House, but each of them did lose children while living in the White House. Booth was actually born in 1838. That's one year before 1839. Monroe died a year before Kennedy died, so not a week before. Plus, there may be no Monroe, Maryland. I tried, I looked it up, and I was not able to find... Uh, of any place named Monroe that might have existed in the past, you know, a place that might have had that name in the past, in Maryland. Uh, maybe it existed, I can't find it. However, <laughs> there is a school called Abraham Lincoln Elementary School in Monroe, Wisconsin. Was well, that freaky or what? Um, yeah, freaky. Let me know what you think.